Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's talk about opportunity teams. I'm going to show you how to turn it on, add your own roles, and get it onto the page. So the first thing we need to do is go into setup. Now we're going to search for the word team here. Now keep in mind there are account teams, case teams, but you want to go to the opportunity team settings. Most of you aren't going to have to do anything. It's going to be ready to go out of the box. Just make sure it's not disabled. Well, as long as it's not disabled, next thing we need to do is set up your team roles. So think about your team and what kind of roles you want to make sure are on the list. So do you have a sales manager, a sales rep, a demo master, a solution engineer? Just come up with those roles are and you can one by one add them to this list. So now you've got opportunity teams enabled, you have the right roles, but how do we actually add those team members to this opportunity? Well, we need to add the related list to the page. So we're going to edit the page for the opportunity. Now this is the lightning page. This is the bigger one where we can drag and drop components onto the page and really customize the way it looks. But the first thing we need to do is go into the opportunities page layout. From here, we need to make sure that the related list is on the page. So I'm going into the section at the top here for related lists, and I'm going to look for my opportunity team list. And I'm going to drag and drop that somewhere on the page. Once it's on the page, you can configure it like adding, or removing, or reordering columns, but get it on the page and hit save. Once it's actually saved, then we can go back to the lightning page and add the related list to the lightning page. So now I've refreshed the lightning page. We're going to go to the sidebar here and we're going to grab a single related list. So I'm just going to drag that component. You could put it anywhere. You could put it in the sidebar at the top of the page. I'm just going to drag and drop it here front and center. Now what list am I going to add to the lightning page? Well, I don't want a list from the account record or some other related record. I want a list from this opportunity. All right, well, which list? Well, I want, I want the opportunity team list. Make sure you select the right list in the sidebar, and there you go, you're done. Now, you really could move this anywhere you like. Uh, I'm just going to leave it right here for this demo's purpose. But you hit save, and now you've enabled opportunity teams, you've customized your roles, and you've added it to your page layout. And so now I can just add team members. So you can pick a user in your organization, like here I've got Casey, and then you can pick what role Casey is playing. And in this case, she's the demo master. That's the new role you saw me create earlier. And you can choose what level of access Casey has to this opportunity, read only or read write. And there we go. Casey is now on the team as the demo master. And if you ever want to get an idea of who all has access to your opportunity, there's a quick way to just see a view of that. And at any point in the future, you could delete a team member or edit their role or their level of access. All right, but that's it. So get in there, turn on the feature, add the related list to the page, and start selling as a team. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.